So Jamie, obviously we haven't been able to formally introduce you yet, so welcome to the shots and Thank how you. does it feel to have this role at this club? Really good, really good. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, been really busy. I mean, uh, yeah, we've brought, how many done? Four plus the three, which is then seven signings. Um, we've still got work to do, but it's, it's uh, as you know, at these times, uh, it's never easy to get one over the line. So we're working all the time to try and get people that are going to add to the group and bring the qualities that the, the manager wants to yeah to improve his squad and obviously the manager tommy is yep. someone that you were his mentee weren't you on at bristol rovers and he's he's trusted you enough to bring you here so tell us more about um, your time working under him and learning under, under yeah him. so so i was a bristol rovers fan when i was well all my life really um and when I was about 17 or 18, so I'm, I'm 23 now. So when I was 17 or 18, um, I got. In, I used to speak to the owner at Bristol Rovers quite a lot, and uh, speak to him at games. And he he liked what I knew about football. Really, I don't know. It's as simple as that to start with. Really, the initial conversation. And um, yeah, I got. He got got me in contact with Tommy because he asked if I wanted to do a bit of scouting if I had any interest in that. And I said like, look, yeah, I'd love to that sort of thing. So I got in contact with Tommy through through the owner. Uh, Tommy was the head of recruitment at the time. Um, I did a couple of Southwest games, local games, done reports for him on certain players. Tommy liked what information I was giving him on the players. Um, and uh, then the following season, he ensured that I got a full time role at Bristol Rovers as like a first team analyst. I'd done a lot of the recruitment, uh, had a lot of input in, in the recruitment at the time. And uh, yeah, it was really good um, learning from Tommy how he how he does things and things like that. He was he was really good at what he does, and it, it it's helped me, yeah, just pick things up and and uh, Im and improve. And obviously that he then uh, took me to Kings Lynn with him when he was the manager. So I uh, I did I was the head of recruitment at Kings Lynn Town with him. I helped him sign all the, a lot of the players, done a lot of scouting. I also done a lot of opposition scouting. So say we were playing X team on the Saturday, I would make sure that I or somebody else was covering them the week before so that we had the required information for for the match day but um but yeah so it's, i've been working with tommy for about five years now and uh yeah he's he's great to work with and i've, I've learned a lot of him and uh i'd like to think he <laughs> he trusts what i do because he's he's took me now to his third club with him so yeah and head of recruitment is your title again but as you've said there you, you you're going to bring a lot more than just essentially signing players aren't you yeah so yeah um that, that's my title so i'm gonna i'm helping him recruitment all the time but I'm also going to be doing a lot of the anal analysis work with uh, so I use a lot of that going into who we sign so there's a lot of more to, that goes into it in terms of data and I use a lot of numbers and things like that to work out which players we should be looking at and uh, but also on match days we'll obviously get the game videoed so I'm going to be doing all the um, an analyst work with the, with Hugo a lot of the time to try and pick up trends in oppositions where we can exploit their weaknesses their strengths and then after look back at our own games where we did well what we could have improved on individual bits for the players it will be clipped up and everything like that and we'll have improvements for yeah to try and improve on the next game well if we can talk about the recruitment though obviously you know we've just announced three signings yep kobe white zane walker and, and geordie so you know it, how's that going for you so far this summer yeah so um obviously we knew we needed a goalkeeper because uh, we had luca last year and he was on loan um and we wanted to we ideally wanted to make sure that it was a permanent player. We wanted to have a goalkeeper that w was ours and um, was a bit more experienced. So when we were filtering through names in the summer, there was names that we were looking at and there was people that we had in, in mind. But we had Jordy reached out actually to Tommy as saying, uh, asking if we needed a goalkeeper. And he said that um, he was looking to move back to the UK. And when me and Tommy heard of this, we were obviously very interested because we had him at Bristol Rovers we took him to Bristol Rovers and he was initially as the number two there but um, he ended up playing quite a lot of games because the main goalkeeper had a few injury problems and, and Geordie did well in most of the games that he played he was reliable he's good size looks to command his area he can play with the ball at his feet but um, he's vocal and he, he obviously he's a good shot stopper so uh, we feel for the level we're at Geordie could be a really good addition to the squad so that's goalkeeper position and we've got uh kobe as well so um kobe we wanted to bring in another defender that would complement who we had in the building uh we feel kobe was was one we identified um as a good option 
we weren't actually sure he was going to be available to us originally but he came up and we and we jumped at the opportunity because uh we feel he could be perfect for us he's dominant in both boxes um he, he should score some goals because he's aggressive attacking the attacking the ball um yeah he, he he but first and foremost he's a defender he likes to defend his box um he played in a certain side that where you have to defend you know the, the way they play so uh yeah he, he can play as well when needed to so yeah we, we feel kobe can uh complement who we've got well in the building obviously we've got zane as well so um zane was a player we also had at bristol rovers as well who broke through when he was about 16 17 in the first team um as a prospect and he he developed really nicely and and some and the managers at bristol rovers they often liked him the only problem we had is that we had constant churn of managers and things like that and he had the personal issues and that but we feel there's a player in zane and there's a lot of untapped ability that um somebody somebody's going to get out of him so he, he might be he's come in and he had a bad injury at the back end of last season so it might be that he comes in and goes out on loan originally to get some games and try and get some minutes under his belt before trying to look to compete in our first team but there's definitely a, a really good player in zane and, and we, we look forward to trying to, for the coaches to get it out of him um but yeah that's where we're at at the moment um yeah there, there might be more to come in the near future but yeah we're always looking we're looking to add to the squad um and yeah we're, we're still we're still looking what kind of players are you looking for because i know tommy talks a lot about you know the player behind yeah. like the person behind the football player and, and building to the dressing room kind of thing is that is that key to you as well yeah so we we, we were looking to add a bit a bit more um a, a bit more experience into the team because we've got some really good bright young lads um, we wanted to make sure that through the spine we've got we've got some leaders and people that have played games at the level and, and, and level above and I can really guide some of the young players that we've got. Um, so we're looking to add Jordy. Jordy's a good age. Kobe's a good age. We're still looking for other players in, in certain areas with, with with good experience behind them as well. But um, like you said, Tommy's Tommy's key on having the right the right characters. So when people might say that we've we've, we've been a little bit slow and it might look from the outside in terms of there's lots of players that we can sign we get offered players every day every day we get offered certain players but um we're trying to make sure that we, we bring the right players in and with the right with the right mentality and the right players that are gonna they're gonna push the group and really really try and knock people out of the first 11 and not just fill a fill a number and just fill fill the bench we want people that are going to really really add to our first 11 so yeah we're, we're always looking and we're, we've got targets in mind in certain areas but some of them are, are are difficult so it's going to take a bit of time now talking about time obviously there has been a little bit of criticism from some supporters about the the, like the slowness in, in their eyes of, of our recruitment this summer but is that you know is that fair criticism or do you think that's not really a problem i don't think it's a problem personally we know what where we're, we're at with the squad we've, we've we've got our overview we know what we need what we've got and we we're not far away we we know what we what we need and and we've identified players in them positions but as, as you know when you're looking at good good players, good players take have got other clubs that are in for them. So it is it's a case of we, Tommy and I have got to make sure that we sell that we are the right club for that player. We want to bring in players that want to be here, and we want to bring in players that, as I said, that are going to add to what we've got and not just fill a number. So when I say it might look a bit slow, or whatever from the outside, it's only because we're trying to bring in the right players with the right character, and they tick all the boxes, and not just just like I said, f fill a number and just and uh, bring somebody in for the sake of it. So, look, we're always active. We're, we're working really hard, and uh, I'm pretty sure in two to three weeks' time, when the season starts, we'll have we'll have our squad, and it'll be fit and raring to go. Perfect. Cheers, Jamie. No problem. Click here for the latest match highlights, and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.